Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Yesterday I posted a new YouTube short on the progress of my RPG Maker project. I did not make any progress at all yesterday. I was too busy trying to finish up the Fallout 4 main story. I'm done with that game now. I have finished the main story all the way through through the Institute as well. I might have made the mistake of going with the Institute, but honestly, I don't care. It felt like the right choice to me. All the videos are now uploaded, and here we are. I literally just woke up like 30 to 40 minutes ago. I've not had food. I have a nice tall glass of refrigerated cold tea which is wonderful and it is super sweet with two cups of sugar because yes okay I made a gallon of tea yesterday let me explain that I made a gallon of tea yesterday I did not put two cups of sugar in my in my cup that would be stupid that would be diabetes at my doorstep so I mean, let me rephrase that for those of you concerned about my health. There you go. But I'm here. I'm ready to work on this massive endless project, which has an end somewhere in sight. Just don't know where yet. <clears throat> and the short I posted yesterday... I said that I was not too happy with the bottom half of this map. And I'm not. The top portion looks way better once I learned or once I got a feel for what I was doing. So in the future or well, on my own time whenever I'm not recording, I will rework the bottom portion. So but basically when I'm out with my support staff. And for those of you who are new to my channel, I am unfortunately disabled. If that offends you in any way, feel free to leave, unsubscribe, I don't care. It is your choice. You can say go get a job all you want, but where I live, I live in a tourist trap and the city that I live in and the surrounding towns, they do not want embarrassments in the workforce at all. It is something I've had to deal with my whole life. And it's something that people I live with in my current neighborhood full of people who are like me or worse than me have to put up with. The only place I can get a job at is a sheltered workshop for people who are like me or worse than me. I've been in before and honestly, if that place burns down tomorrow, awesome. I wouldn't care. And no, I wouldn't do it either because I know better. <laughs> I know better. As long as no one's hurt and it burns down, I'm fine with it. I don't care. That place is hell on earth. They treat, they treat us like shit. So no thank you. And the pay shit too. I'm not talking out of repay either. I'm talking like pennies. That's how you get paid is pennies. Yeah. That's how bad we're treated. Where I live. So if you think you got it bad. Uh -uh. <clears throat> so I am doing YouTube. So I can hopefully get off of government aid if it doesn't happen oh well whatever I tried and I'll keep doing it for your entertainment and as a way to force myself to play new games versus playing the same old ones over and over again and to force myself to do this as well so yeah and thanks to doing this, I've made this much progress on my game. None of it is fully invented yet. If you guys do want to see the eventing process, however, let me know. 
and I will start doing that. Or if you want to continue seeing the map design progress or process, I will continue doing that as well. Let me know down in the comments below. It is your choice. This content is for your entertainment. This RPG Maker content is, I guess, educational for myself because I know most of it, but not everything. I've worked with RPG Maker in the past, so I know most of it, but not, again, not everything. And for those who are new or never heard of RPG Maker and who are considering getting it, if you want to see how you make stuff work versus the map process or the, you know, the, the drawing process, I will do that. I don't mind. It can be complex. And no, I do not know how to code JavaScript. I have no knowledge in coding at all. Everything I do will be within the engine's limitations and my own knowledge of how stuff works in the engine. Just a heads up. So, yes, that just sit, you know, just a quick heads up on what I'm able to do. I do have several ideas that I want to try doing already saved over over here, I believe. Yes, I have them saved as comments, and this screen you see here is an event screen. This is what makes an NPC work or a door or a treasure chest or various other things work. For those of you who are new to my channel, this is how everything works within the program without coding JavaScript, C Sharp or whatever. And one of the many menus inside of this is this right here. And each menu inside of this or each option has their own menus that you can choose from. Well, except for that one, of course. Some of them don't have menus. There's like one click and they're done. But like for this one, you'll be using this option a lot. And if you want to see how the event process works, to see how this menu works, Again, let me know down below. I do not mind showing this off. <coughs> there's also um, labels, there's common events, there's common events you make in the database, not here. And basically common events are the same menu you see here, but you're, but you're using them over and over again. Instead of building them from, you know, from scratch in this menu, you call them. They're pre-made events and you call them. And then the program runs the entire line of code, code per se, with just a call command. Or you can change your actors, HP, all their stats, same for the enemy stats. You can change your, your party's gold, items, weapons. You can show choices. You can even do the Star Trek thing, I mean, Star Wars thing <laughs> in the beginning of the movies. Not like how they do it, but close enough, I guess. You can move between maps, you can do a timer, you can make your own, you can make your own loading screen. Which is hysterical. And I might do it to fuck with speedrunners. Because of reasons. You can fade the screen in and out, background music and all that stuff, picture stuff. You know, you can write a, a lore book and then put that image of a book with the text on it in here and it will pop up. Which is awesome. Like, I think I have a, 
Yeah. Now this is not how it would look unless you do like say 50. Okay, maybe I won't do it there, but if you do this, it will then show up at 50% whatever and whatnot at, on the screen. Well, you can, you know, write your own lore books, you can do all that stuff. Even your own scrolls, your own signs. And I plan on doing that too. You can move them too. You can somehow, I don't know. You can make your own movies too, but I have no idea how to do that kind of stuff. That might take like a movie maker program and then putting it in here. I don't know. I never mess with it at all. My, I mean, yeah, I don't really know how to do that kind of stuff at all. I don't really see a need to because like it's a 2D program. Why would you want a possible 3D movie or whatever for a 2D game? Like just have your little cutscene that you're gonna make be that movie. That's my that's my idea behind it. You can do battle processing if you want if you don't want to have certain certain enemies to be random encounters like for bosses you can make the boss be a set encounter you can have stores you can have you can change your name so if you <clears throat> my goal or one of my ideas hopefully it's a goal is to make it to where the player can make their own character now granted for those who are new the character you play as is not the main character. The main character is over here in the prison map where the mouse is and he's locked in prison and I have not decided if I want the player to be able to play as him at any point yet I might but he's the main character not the person you play as so if I can make it to where the player can somewhat make their own character, I will do that. It may not work, and if not, I apologize, but limitations on what you see here and my own knowledge of what I can do within this, you know, limited command list, of course, but, you know, it happens. You can even change your own maps. You know, tile sets, display name, which I don't know why you would want to do that. Just make a new map. Like, come on now. You can do scripting and all that stuff. But I have no, I have no knowledge on how to do any of this stuff, so I won't be doing that at all. System settings, you know, that's pretty straightforward. Battle, here's the enemy stuff as well. And that's pretty much the gist of it. But yeah, I mean, that, yeah, it's straightforward stuff, but com combining it all together becomes a nightmare. So, <clears throat> I'm looking forward to it. If you guys want to see that process, I don't mind. I can work on the maps on my own time and not on recording. But, let's get started with this. I'm going to go ahead and, like I said, rework the bottom half of this on my own time. And then to save time, I'm going to, for, to save time for now, I will modify them later. I'm going to copy and paste this map once I'm done with redoing the bottom part of this map, of course, or that one room, of course. I'm going to copy and paste this map however many times I need it to save time for now. If I don't do that now, I will be on the city for months. And I will modify these rooms at a later time. I will change them up. I will put, you know, 
I'll, I will do. I will change them up later on. So I mean, do I have to? Not really. They are apartments, and apartments in real life, they're the same layout. So technically, I could do that for these ones as well, but that would get boring. And people would frown upon that. So I'm going to do what I can to change them up in the future. I might do it on my own time. Who knows? We'll see. But for now, I'm just I'm going to, I'm going to move on to the next map. I already know what I want to do for that map. I've said it before in a previous video that I have an idea for the next map after this after the city and that's what I'm going to do so this is still in progress what you see here and I need to do this 14 more times I believe Hold on. here is five and it is five down here Four, and then there was how many other buildings? There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So there's four, that means I need to do six. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Let me count again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. No, I counted that one again. So, going from the top, that's 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 16. So there are 16, but the church is different. So, I guess I could work on the church for now. Wouldn't hurt. So I need to copy and paste. So how many of those are? Yeah, there's six and then there's 10 of those. So I need to do this 16 times. Where is the... Okay, there's the high income. There's that one, which I will do those too. I, I could do these on recording as well, but it's basically just gonna be the same layout as the medium and then just, you know, bigger. So there's really no point in me doing that at all. There's a church. But I want to change this from Act 1 to... Seriously, you piece of freaking shit, titties. I freaking pressed home and it didn't go home. What the fudge, dude? Okay, so 1, 2... Three, four. Where is the high income? There it is. There's five. So yeah, there's ten. So I need, I need to do it sixteen times. So I mean, if you guys want to see this entire process and you want to see me do it, you know, each building differently and not just copy and paste them, then I will show that. But if you're okay with me copying and pasting them all 16 times, then I will do that as well. And I will modify them differently. It's your choice. I want you guys to have a say in this too, because I want your guys' opinions and your ideas. So let me know down below. Or if you want me to move on to the next bigger map that is below the city 
Let me know down below. I want, I want your, I want your guys' input on this too. Your, your ideas, your input, and what I could possibly change as well. And if you know, because I think about, I think of this as we're doing this together, even though I'm the one doing it. So, you know, why not take your guys' ideas and your guys', you know, everything else and go with it. It won't hurt. And I think it'd be fun. I really do. And my cat's gonna interrupt. Hold on. <coughs> Bud, are you okay? Hey, you okay? Bud, are you okay? Not on the couch. No. Oh, over the couch. Okay. Bud, are you okay? Go to your box, okay? And throw it in there, okay, buddy? That's like a hairball thing that does. Oh, buddy boy, you are a funny cat. I love you, though, buddy. I wanted to come and pick you up, buddy, so I can move you to your toilet. But you said no. And that's a hairball. Oh, buddy, I love you. I love you, buddy boy. Damn boy, that stinks. Whew. I need to put some Febreze after that. Good lord, buddy. That's a stinky hairball. Woo! Holy crap, buddy. That's a stinky hairball. And where else did I not get? Let me check. Oh boy, buddy. I'm glad I bought the freaking hairball control. For your food. Holy crap, buddy. <laughs> I'm just gonna grab these real quick and clean up the couch. You okay, bud? Get some water, okay? Go get some water, okay, bud? Go get some water, okay? Go get some water. Go get some water, okay? Wash your mouth out. taken care of. <sighs> I'm glad I caught that. I heard him doing something. And I saw him doing the whole gag movement. I was like, oh shit. He's gonna throw up and he did. So I apologize for that. I wanted to get going with all this stuff, but you know, my long spiel and then that happened. But anyways, I guess I will start on, I'll modify this on my own time. So, I'm going to start doing, I don't know why you do that. It's because you're zoomed out all the way. It's so freaking stupid. Oh yeah, is there a new update for us, I wonder? I'm curious. No, not this. Um, this. This one. Damn it, Steam Tawana. 
Nope, no new update. Okay, cool. <coughs> Hasn't been an update since March or whatever. Alright, I guess I will start working on... Hmm... The park's done. That little water area is done. Down here is done. This is done for now. So for the stores and all that stuff. I will do this part up, up here in my own time for the stores and whatnot. I guess I'll do the church. Yeah, I'll do the church. So. I will put the church up here. Here. That's not what I want to do. I want to do here. City church and how big do I want it? It's a pretty long building. Needs this. Screw with speedrunners because reasons. Um. My table is no. I need a new desk. I swear, but I can't. I don't know if I have room for one. Honestly, I might have room for one, but I just don't know. I could put my desk in my room, my bedroom, which is right there, but there's no internet in there. Well, there is, but it's not turned on. <laughs> and I don't want to. I don't want to drag a freaking internet cable that far. To the other side of this wall. Because that's just stupid. Um, no encounter rate. There's, I'm not going to do any of this stuff yet. This is just whatever. <clears throat> if I had the patience, I could take... Oh. I say patience. And I, and I do mean patience. And if I... Had you know better control my, my my arm at most times of the day, I could take the um, tile sets and then take whatever background I wanted. I could pre lay out the map itself, take out take that as a picture, and then make the map look so much better than what the program does. Then take with the, with the um, actual tile set, set itself with like Photoshop or whatever. Okay, maybe not Photoshop because they're current blunders, but something else like GIMP. I could put more stuff on shelving, on tables, if I had the, the know how and the patience to do that. And then I can take that new image and put it in here. As a parallax background, and it would be the map itself. But I don't have that kind of patience. To sit there and articulately place stuff down where I want it to go. And yeah, I, just, I don't have that kind, of, that kind of patience at all to do that. So how big do I want this map? It is a, a fairly long church. So, I want it big width-wise, and maybe 100 by, that's not big enough, that's not big enough, maybe that, yeah, this might be big enough. This might be big enough for what I want. Let me see, it's a church. So it's, is it is it running us right now? No. Ha! <laughs> Sounds like it's raining. Oh, 
Huh, and if it is, it is. Who cares? We kind of need it to keep it cool. Well, hi, buddy. How are you feeling after throwing up? Go get some water, okay? All right, so... I need Uncle Phil. Uh, reasons. Or reasons. What you doing, bud? I'm not gonna open the door for you, okay? Cause it is stray cats. Until my terrorist Russian neighbor, I mean, until my Russian terrorist neighbor gets rid of them all, or gets evicted, I'm hopefully leaning towards the second one. Hopefully. You cannot have the door or window. Because of the cat pee smell. Because they spray it. Alright, so Uncle Phil has been used. We need... I mean, would that work? I mean, yeah, it would work. It would work. This might be a bit too big for the church, but honestly, I don't give a fudge. <clears throat> Is that two? No, this is two. And it's probably a bit too big, but honestly, I don't care. I can, I can make it work. It is what it is. What are you doing, bud? Are you, what are you staring at the door for? You silly cat. <laughs> what are you doing over there, you silly cat? You silly kitty. You silly cat. What are you doing? There's nothing over there. There's nothing over there, bud. What are you doing? Just sitting over by the door, just staring at it. Now he's staring at his cat, his um, containers of cat litter. Well, so I'll change his stuff tomorrow. If it's raining, I don't want to do it now. <laughs> if it is raining, I don't want to do that. <laughs> I don't mind the rain, but I don't want to get cat litter wet. No thanks. <laughs> I'd rather not get cat litter wet. <laughs> Because it does sound like it is running out there. Wait, I just noticed. Hold on, I'm curious. Hold on, what? what? I just now realized that the freaking... FPS counter is not showing for for this. That's weird. Hold on, I'm curious. Did they finally add what I wanted for Steam? Did they finally add per game? No, they didn't add it, but it says it's on, but it's not showing it. Unless they add it, unless they fix it for this. What doesn't show? I'm curious. Hold on. I'm curious now. I'm curious. You know, it's not there. Oh, thank fuck. <laughs> Oh, thank fuck. Oh, thank you, Steam. This is not a game. It is a it is a software. There is a big difference. <laughs> thank you, Steam. Oh, that makes me happy. Oh, man, that makes me happy.
I mean, if they could have it per game as an option, man, that would be so much better. But not seeing it anymore, oh my lord, it makes me so happy. Uh, they go in there and turn it off. Because technically this is not a game, it's a software. I mean, granted, so are games, but you don't play games on this. You make them. So, big difference. <clears throat> so, let's see here. I need a doorway. This is 150. So, halfway point with 75. Found it. Hmm. <laughs> Done. For those of you who have, you know, Certain reasons to have certain, you know, things in certain spots. There you go. Was I'm not complaining. I agree on it. It makes more sense that way. So now I need to do the layout stuff. So I need an office for the head person. I need an area for everyone to do the Western Macauses on certain, well, yeah, on certain days, like what we do in our life. I need bathrooms. And yes, I'm adding bathrooms to every building because you never see bathrooms in video games, especially ones that are, you know, medieval type or, you know, fantasy. You might see them in like Fallout or whatever, but you don't see them in, you know, medieval based games at all. Maybe you do, maybe I just didn't look hard enough, but you just never see them. So I figured, you know what? Why not have a bathroom? Maybe if I'm able to, I'll add a feature to where you have to use a bathroom. Maybe at least once. For something to happen. You never know. I mean, screw it. Not like an axle where you have to use the bathroom. Like, in a survival game. But, you know. But maybe, maybe you'll find something hidden in the bathrooms, in the toilets. Or, well, what is this called over here? Surround stone wall. That's what it's called. Even though it has water in it. Again, don't trust tree monkeys. They call towels rugs. Whoever translated this needs to be fired. I'm sorry, do what they do. What is this called? Surround water wall. No, that's a pole. This is a freaking pole. Wait, wrong, wrong tool. This is a freaking pole, not surround water wall. What the fuck? Water surface. That's a pole as well, dumbasses. Come on now. Tile. Um, no, that's a pool. Water A. No, that's a pool. <laughs> Deep water. Ocean. Shine fall. Um, this called a waterfall. Grid fall. Waterfall. Again, don't don't trust train monkeys. I'm sorry. Right? Oh whoever translated this shit fired their ass. I'm sorry. Like they Ah oh. <clears throat> My God. Who in their right mind thinks that these are rugs? They're towels. But what do they call them? Rug C, Rug B, Rug A. 
They're towels. A rug is is this. This is a rug. This is a carpet. Fucking dumbasses, I swear. Don't trust train monkeys. Who spent money on going to college to translate stuff. Don't trust them. They can't do their freaking jobs right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but they did. No. <laughs> Don't trust train monkeys. Alright, so I need... What all do I need? I, I want to outline it first, so let's see here. I wish, I wish I could zoom in and out without having to be on it itself. Like, can I zoom in and out here and not here? That would be great. So I need... Bathroom... An office for the main person, for the head priest or priestess, you never know. An area for worship. Problem is, how big do I want the bathroom to be? Well, it's a city, so I need a fairly good sized bathroom. I need a fairly good sized place for worship. It's in his box again, I think he is. Or his boxes, there's two of them. Uh, this might be a bit too big. Yeah, I think, I think it's too big. Unless I do... No, he's not. He's, he's behind the couch. Okay. So I need a bathroom, an office. Yeah, I think this is too big. Place for worship. What's up, buddy? Thanks for the headbutt. What else? What else? What else? What else? There won't be... I can throw in random decoration as well. Um... Trying to think. I might. I'm gonna hold on. Let me look at some. Can I hide this shit? There we go. Thank you. So if I want the if I want the weather, I can just go to my local weather area. Um. Church. Let me just do this real quick. I'm curious. I need I need some inspiration. Here we go. So of course it has the seating, it has well lighting, I can't really do lighting. Well I mean I can, but like not not not. I can do lighting of course, I have something for that. What is the one that Can I find an image of the Vatican church? Ooh, hold on now. I'm curious. Um, I'm curious. Holy, is that really it? 
Damn, is that really it? Holy, okay. So they have all the statues, they have the ceiling, which I can't really do a ceiling. If I knew how to do that, I would. Damn, dude, that is sick. I don't go to church, but I want to go here and go to church. <laughs> they have a bunch of pillars. Okay, I can work with that. I mean, that's for structural, that's for structural stuff. That's not bad. Okay, is there another image of it, I wonder? Is that? There's no way that's the entire Vatican Church. Holy shoot, dude. That is huge! Is this really it? There's no way, there's, there's no way this is it. No, that's just a museum. There's no way that's the church. That is gorgeous. Holy crap. There's the altar. Wow. Again, I don't go to church in America, but I wouldn't mind going to church here to see this. This is a beautiful church. Holy shit. <laughs> I might move there. <laughs> All right, got some inspiration now. Um, bathrooms, <clears throat> pillars. Which I have pillars to work with. They're not the greatest, but you know they're the preset ones. Um, My eyes are bugging me. So Joy of wearing glasses, they always get dirt them. Okay. So bathrooms, the office for the priest. I can do multiple offices. Because there's, you know, there could be a priest, uh, the head priest, the... Priest assistant, um, I don't know what we call him, honestly, but the head priest, the, uh, I guess I can do a nun. Yeah, I can do nuns too, actually, yeah. Do I have, hold on, I'm curious, um, for females, um, clothing. I mean, I guess, yeah, I, mean, I don't, I don't only really have the, the, Real life non attire was just fine, but I can always use something, you know, along the lines of I can always modify it too to look like it's a nun. So, not a big deal. So, I, I can do priests, I can do nuns, I can do. Yeah, we want to stop there. <laughs> We're going to stop there for reasons. Um. So bathroom, head priest office, the head nun office. That can be on the right side mm -hmm. with the hallway in the middle, okay. Um, maybe a storage room? Or I can do a, um, a staircase going down to the storage, but there won't be a map to it or for it. Because there's no point. It's not a necessary map. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, area for worship for the multiple gods. Okay, I think I have it planned out now. Now to blueprint it and see how it looks.
Okay. So this is a city. So it needs a fairly big bathroom. Bigger than what I've done before. Which is not a big deal. So let's zoom in here. <clears throat> Probably from here over will be the bathroom. Because again, it is a city that's going to need a fairly big bathroom. So, let's see. I can hear my, my terrorist Russian neighbor out there. I mean, my Russian terrorist neighbor outside. Speaking in Russian. <laughs> Pretty ironic too, huh? <laughs> All right, so this would be the bathroom. Yeah, I think that would be the bathroom. I could go bigger, but I think that's big enough. And then I can have this over here be Okay, let me, let me design the bathroom first, and then I'll move on from there. So, I need to, I want to zoom in more. For you guys can see better, and so I can actually work with, you know, what I have here. So, let's see. Need to not make that fall, hopefully. Alright. So bathroom here, that kind of works, actually, yeah, it does, surprisingly. And then I can all, honestly, I can just like do, eh, maybe not. Maybe not. What if I took this and I just didn't? Oh, that's why. Nope, that ain't gonna work. Yeah, I can just do this. Let's be the bathroom. Yeah. Yeah, I can just do this, and that way they're all facing the same way. Which is not a big deal, really. And there's a gap there for, you know, whatever. Yeah, and that should be enough stalls. I can even do up top as well. So that there's more. And then I can leave a gap for the entrance. Because again, it needs to be a fairly big bathroom. So. All I need to do now is just reverse it. But I might leave the top space for um, washing hands and whatnot. Was well, actually I wouldn't have to. I can just put the sinks in the stall itself, and I'll save time. You know, you wouldn't have to leave the stall at all because like the sinks right there. Because some countries do that. Like in Japan, they have the the toilet and the sink right there together, and you have to like. What like wash? I think I think how they have it is like washing your hands after you're done, literally fills the toilet with water for the next person. Which well, honestly makes sense to me. I could be wrong on that though. So yeah, I could do that, and it'll save t it'll save room. I can add more toilets too. 
And there could be a whole bunch of people in here as well for, you know, NBC wise, people doing their worship stuff if they wanted to. Yeah, I think I'll do that. It makes sense to me, honestly. Makes total sense. Use what I have for space. No, it's not big enough. I need to go down one more. And then do this. Actually, that's not going to work. I'll have to expand that one more of which is not a big deal. So I need to do, oh crap. I need to do this. And then do this. So there we go. There's the bathroom. Now I have enough room in here. Perfect. Okay. <clears throat> and then I can just take this outline. Paste it in. And yes, I'm sure doing this is called laziness, but and I could probably do what I could, or I can try to modify these differently, but how? Explain how. How could I modify these differently? Yeah, I could make them face a different way, but is there really a point? Not really. I could maybe modify them to where they're handicap stalls, but honestly, I think they're big enough for that. I really do. You have enough room to walk in, and if someone is on crutches or a wheelchair, which in my game there really isn't anything for that, but in real life, there is. You have enough room for someone in crutches and in wheelchair for each bathroom, for each stall. So, but this is a game. There's no point in that at all. Unless I wanted to, then I'll have to go on online and find some nefarious files that have wheelchairs and crutches and then hope they don't brick everything. So, yeah. We're not going there. No, that's not where you go. Perfect, and there's the bathroom. I mean, yeah, it's super huge, but again, we're working with a city, and this is a church, so we're gonna need a, I forgot to leave the space open. Shut up, bitch. Oh, well, it is what it is. I can do, honestly, the entrance would be right here. Why not, screw it, you would be right here. Whatever, no door to the bathroom, whatever. The stalls themselves will have doors, however. Who cares? The stalls themselves will have doors. All right, so that's done. Um, For that area next to it, however, it can be where you enter and leave. And it can also be where you Pay a tithe. Yes. Yes, I love it. Now, like here in America, where a tithe is like 50% of your income, it's optional. I have no idea how much a tithe is in America. I'm just guessing. If it's literally 50% of your income, then, um,. Churches need to be um, rethought or um, shut down because of that crap. And honestly, America has way too many churches. And more being built every day, which is just silly. We have enough of them. No more. No more. 
In the town where my aunt lives, there's like 20 of them. It's, it's stupid. It's like, it's a small town of like 200 people. And there's 20 freaking churches. Why? It's stupid. Just have one and everyone goes to it. That's all you need. No more. Alright, so here, I don't want this tool, I want this one instead. I don't need Uncle Phil or the shadow pin. Honestly, they can just remove this tool because it's dumb. It, it makes no sense. Just get rid of it. I never use it. I never use this tool. Just take it out. Never bring it back, please. For frick's sakes. So for this, for this one, I can make a nice big old fat area that covers all the way to the door and then some. Nice big old fat room like this. That will be for entering and leaving. It's where the bathroom is as well. So this is all one big room. And then, um, okay, yeah, and then after that, I can do save it, save it. Well, actually. Save to the hard drive and then just make the program save because yeah, I mean not the hard drive the the thumb drive because reasons because I can't get clouds to work don't know why clouds don't want to save between computers don't know why <laughs> I honestly have no idea why. I had a cloud save turned on and it's like, no, we're not we're not gonna transfer that after we're done taking all the files you changed and putting them in our storage device. We're not gonna transfer all these files we just recently received to your computer or your laptop and vice versa. We're sorry, but no. So I said screw it. Thumb drive. Easier. Works just fine for me. If clouds are gonna be dumb and not take my files and work properly, screw them. All right, so this is the entrance. This needs a, a doorway. I could do. I have the majority of it blueprinted already in my, in my mind, but I'm thrown off now since I've added this new room and it sucks. That's how my brain works. It might be how everyone's brain works too, but for me, it, it's, it's rough. Um, so the bathrooms are done. I can do, how much room do I have up top? Oh, I have a shit ton of room. Okay. So offices, and then I can do... Oh, bro. Okay, I thought I had... This might be too big. But I will do what I can. Because I'm committed. Um. So, entrance, bathrooms... Well, hi, buddy. I thought you were asleep. Hi, buddy. I heard you yawn. Area for worship over here. It can be like basically all of... It can be all of... I want the wrong tool. I mean, the, the wrong texture. The wrong tile. I mean, whatever. So area of worship can be all of like this, basically. Or all of
that. One of those two. I might go for the second one because it's a big city and this is the only church in the city and everyone from the lower end, the medium and the high go here. So I might go for the bigger one. Actually, you know what? Screw it. Third option. I might do that instead. Just go ahead and utilize what's already there. And then the rest of it can be, you know, offices. I can go ahead and put storage. I can put, um... Whatever else I, I, I want to put in there, which I really don't know what else goes in this church, really, but I'll work with it. I can put a school. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, I know, that works, yeah. Oh, yeah, I also need the staple items because of raisins. I need the four items, the four staple items, because raisins, because raisins, oh, oh wrong tool, it's pretty ironic however, I won't say why, but I mean, it's pretty ironic, okay, so those are there, those are not going to get moved at all. No matter what I do. I mean, I might I might move them because I might, you know, accidentally remove them and I might move them somewhere else. Who knows? We'll see. But those are there. Um, yeah, I, I can do a school. Okay. No, you went that far. No, 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 no. I'm on the wrong tool, son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. So yeah, I will make all of this the area that I want for. I'll be a pretty big worship room, but honestly, it's okay. I can work with it because again, it is a city. It makes sense to have a big area for worship. Because it's a city. So. Yeah. I can work with this. So. I will need. I don't have pews. I don't know. Why are. I'm curious now. Yeah hold on. I'm cu I'm curious. Like, why not call him a freaking bench? Like, to me, calling it a pew sounds like oh pew, someone farted. Just call it a bench. Like, I'm being honest. Just call it a bench. Please don't call it a pew, because it sounds like someone farted when you say that. Pew. Someone farted. No. I wish I could rotate you because it would be it would it would fit so well in here. It would fit so well in here. You would fit so well in here. If if I could rotate you. If I could rotate this, it would. Oh my god, it was it would work wonders. <clears throat> ah. It would work so many wonders.
And that's the only area that I have chairs at is in here. And this is the only one that freaking fits. But it's facing the wrong fucking way. Why? Dear developers. <laughs> I want a way to rotate shit in your program. Thank you. Thank you. Just please. You added a feature that should have been there since day fucking one. You're welcome, by the way. I fought for that shit for freaking forever. Why can't we get an option to rotate items? Come on now. It's on that freaking hard. You clearly have the option to rotate things. Why can't we do it ourselves? In the program itself. Not that fucking hard to do. Let's just code it in. Code it in as an option. For fuck's sake. It's not that hard to do. Please, just fucking do it. I'm begging you here. It would make this entire process a whole lot easier for everyone. Just fuck me. Please, just fucking do it. I'm begging you. Like, what if I want this to be sideways? Not like this, but sideways. Like, you know, like a wall, not a freaking flag. Or what if I want to put it upside down? I can't do it. I have to go in and do it myself in Photoshop or GIMP. You clearly have done it yourself in the tile set editor. For certain things. Like these for instance. Why can't we do it. With the program. Please. For fuck's sakes. What if I want a freaking sideways piano. Or one that's facing up. Not down. Please. Developers. Us game creators are begging you. We love your program, but it's missing so many features. What if we want bookshelves or other shelves facing sideways or up or down or not, you know, or up? We can't do it. Or beds, the same way. Instead of having them face down, we want them facing this way or, or up. We can't do it. Because reasons. I love this program, but the quality of life features are not there. They're not there at all. And it sucks. 80 bucks, by the way, for this program. And no, I didn't spend that much money on it. I spent like 45 on it. <sighs> Thank you, GameStop, for that one. Thank you, GameStop. Mm -hmm. I don't regret that choice. <laughs> okay, I kind of do, but then again, I don't. They were old games anyway. Who cares? All right, so... Worship room, bathrooms, entrance. I need to zoom my heavy little butt over here. Do this. Why is that all mossed out for us? Weird. Oh, because it is mossed out. Oh. Well, then. I guess we're going to use something else then. <laughs> our, our, our shirts will not be mossy. I'm sorry. I did not realize that until now. <laughs> Whoopsie. Oh, the joys of doing this. <laughs> I don't need, uh, I need you still, huh? 
Well, I guess I'm removing all this stuff. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Done. Ah. Oh. Wait, no. Done. <laughs> I like that better, actually. It looks better. Yeah. Looks better. Actually, I wonder. Yeah. Just gotta do this individually. Cause it's you know whatever, who cares? And then we gotta fix all that crap, which is not a big deal. And it's all that done now. Oh yeah, that's better now. Oh yeah. Okay, I did not realize that was mossy until I got closer. I like the floor, but I might want to change the floor. Yeah, that looks better. Like it actually fits the new the new walls. Yeah. I like that better. It fits the new floors. I mean the new walls. We fixed it. You made it look better. It looks cleaner. Versus a piece of mossy poop. <laughs> Alright, now we got to replace all that shit, which is no big deal. I thought I put you down, you son of a bitch. Alright, no. You don't go here. You go here. <laughs> and then you go there. And then you go right there. Save it. Save it. Now I can't undo it, which is good. Okay. Perfect. Alright, yeah, that looks so much better now. Holy crap. I love that. I do apologize for not noticing that. It looked like a piece of crap beforehand. <clears throat> why, would, why would you make something like mossy? I mean, I mean, okay, I get it, but... I don't know, weird. All right, so we have the worship area. We have an entrance. We need another entrance, which I can easily do. I need offices, I need storage. Which, I mean, do I really need storage? I mean, not really. Because what, what, what would I put in the storage besides food and boxes? I mean, like... So, let's see here. I can do a school, which is not a bad idea, honestly, because there are children in the city and they need an education. Now, I could build a school, but honestly, I could build a school, but... Do I? Nah. I could build a school. But do I want to? Or do I want to have it be something that where the only school is in the church for lower reasons?
Or if I build a school, I can have it run by the church. Versus where it's run by itself. I can literally have decisions, decisions, decisions. I can maybe do like what we do here in America or other, maybe, maybe other countries. I guess Sunday school type area. I don't know if other countries do that or not though. I know America does. I could do that kind of scenario for, for the church. Um, yeah, I might do that and instead of doing Monitor to see if get nice. Um, yeah, I might go ahead and do that. And instead of yeah, I think I'll go ahead and do that instead of making the 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 school being in the church, and then I can instead of doing sixteen. Apartment buildings, I can convert one of them into a school. And that school is specifically run by the church. So that, you know, I have reasons behind it. I'm not going to say why. But I have lore reasons behind it. And it would have been the same lore reasons if I put the school in the churches only. But I'm not going to see why right now. Because I don't want to spoil anything until I start doing the event processing. So, yeah. Alright, so I need to blueprint that out. So, how big do I want the... The Sunday score room. We're into the party, won't call it the Sunday score room because it's not really a Sunday school. You can go to it any day you want, basically. How big do I want it? I also need a hallway, which I see a hallway now, but it's. Let's say the hallway is wrong texture. Let's say the hallway is here. So this is the hallway. Granted, I could put another entrance to the bathroom here. See, I could put another entrance to the bathroom here. I need to fix that all on. Yeah, I can put another entrance to the bathroom here. We get too wide, and then there's another entrance. Yeah, I like that. And then there's the hallway. I know it looks weird, but I mean, honestly, who cares? I can throw some stuff in, like statues or whatever, in there as well. I can do. I can throw a. I can actually probably cut. 
it here and it makes this the storage room. I just noticed I might have to make the bathroom hallway or whatever it is too wide, which I can easily fix later because of um, traffic problems. Unless I make the NPCs um, able to walk to each other, which I can probably do that, but eh, I'll just, do, I'll just make it too wide. It'll be easier that way. It'd be a lot easier just to do that. Not a big deal, really. I have to do that for every bathroom I have that's like this, but I really don't care. Like, whatever. It's an easier fix than making them, you know, through and forgetting to turn off the through. So. Okay, so I can make that a storage room for. You know, other stuff. That's the hallway. It looks weird, but whatever. I don't care. It is what it is. So, bathroom, entrance. Tie the room before you leave. So, basically, entrance, exit. Hallway, worship room. Storage. Storage can be... That's too big. I think that's big enough. I don't know where I want the entrance for that quite yet. Oh crap. I'm on the wrong tool. I mean the wrong tile set. There we go. Um, I have all of that room left. <clears throat> so I can make a fairly good sized classroom. Save it. Save it. Um, office. Make that an office, I guess. Maybe, I don't know. Um, I'm trying to think here. And this, thing, this is the same process I go through whenever I'm working on it in with my support staff. I think I sit here and I think. And then I blueprint and then I go forward. And if it looks like shit, I, I redo it. Or I, I, know, I attempt to redo it. Except for that one time, of course. Which I will redo that, don't worry. Because I know it looks like shit. <laughs> I know it looks like complete shit. And I will redo it. So I need a classroom. And offices. Okay. How big do I want the classroom? And then how big do I want the offices? If I could do janitorial, I so would, but I, I don't have, or I don't think I have anything asset-wise for that. I don't have anything to clean with or anything else. All I have is like a water bucket and that's really it. 
I don't have a mop, I don't have a broom, I don't have anything. So I can't really do a janitorial room at all, and it sucks. If, if I had those assets, I would do that room because it would be more immersive for the player to see that room in a game. But I don't have that. And it's upsetting not having that. It really is. Because even in, in medieval times, they had someone clean the castle or the inn or the pub or... You know, you name it. They have someone to do. They have someone on the payroll to do all the stuff for them. And not having those assets, it sucks. It really does. Unless I'm not seeing it, because it would be either over here. I mean, yeah, there's a there's a, a wash basin for clothes, but. That's just for clothes. That's not for, you know, janitorial duties. That's for washing clothes. That's all the food stuff. That's all the books. That's all of, you know, store items. Armors, clothing, statues. Well, what do you have here? I'm working on, I'm working on this now. This is what I'm working on now. So, yeah, there's nothing for a janitorial room, and it sucks. And this is, well, you know, blood. So, you know. And I did find this online, by the way. I found this online because I have reasons for this being here. Yeah, there's just there's nothing for that specific room and it sucks I wish there was I mean granted you could I mean I, I could do rugs I could just make a room full of rugs I mean towels what would that serve nothing but yeah there's like there's nothing here for what I want there are some, certain things here, which is great, but for certain rooms that I would love to put in, there's nothing. I mean, for a toilet, you would think that I would actually put a modernized toilet like we have now. Now, this is a medieval-based game. Back in medieval times, all they used was either an outhouse or a bucket or the woods so my toilet is literally this but it's one spot that's a toilet and basically the lore wise is they use this toilet whenever the water is dirty they scoop it out dump it outside get more water from the well and pour it in it works because back then that's all they had was either a bucket or the woods or an outhouse it works so again lore wise this makes sense <coughs> now granted they didn't have sinks but you gotta wash your hands some way <laughs> you can't wash your hands in poop -poo water I'm sorry <laughs> <laughs> that would be disgusting. <laughs> some people do though. <laughs> I'm sure some people do. Do we start on? And let's see, for a classroom. Can't use that table because it only goes too wide, or you know. But I can use it as a coffee table. Just can't use it as a footstool, or you know, yeah. 
The only chair I have is this, and it's a stool. Because I cannot rotate these ones, and it sucks. It's, it really sucks. Um... Uh, okay, how big do I want? How big do I want the classroom to be? Yeah, I want it bigger. Yeah, like this, I guess. Yeah. I can do like maybe a hallway between. Yeah. What can I put there then? Because I can do. T if that's one classroom and I have all that space below it, what can I put there? Because over to the right side is the offices. Because I can do maybe two classrooms. I mean, it wouldn't hurt. One for small kids, one for bigger kids. And just expand it to be bigger. And the offices over on the right side, okay. Or, I can expand it more to the right, have the offices be over there, and then underneath I can have the room for where the teacher stays at. Because the teacher also needs a room, or the priest or nun, whoever is teaching, also needs a room for doing her st their, their stuff, be it, you know, him or her. For doing all their, you know, grading papers and whatnot stuff at. So to expand both down and over. Hmm. Trying to think how big do I want the offices? Not very big. Maybe the same size as the storage room. So I have an idea. Let me get in my chair here. So I was sliding out of it. I have an idea. So I want to take this and then So if that's the size of an office. I can then maybe fit one more like right here. Oh shit. Why did it not take that wall? No, I told it to, it's weird. Yeah, okay, so that is basically both offices right there. <clears throat> so 
So then I have all that link down below. Unless I do... No, not that. Unless I do this. Well, hold on, no. Not that. Unless I do this and I have all this room. Which I can use this for maybe the teacher's room. <laughs> that looks so wrong. Like just having them all right there looks so wrong. I want them to be in different spots. So Maybe I do make them bigger then, versus just that size. So what if I expanded like so and then I no oh, give it cut it in half Like so. There can be an entrance to this one here. And then entrance to this one here. And that leaves me enough room for offices. I can make the offices bigger and do an entrance down here as well So, classrooms, okay, so entrance, bathrooms, hallway, storage, I mean, honestly, you know what, I'll just do that, I don't care, it is what it is, because it's easier access, versus doing up here. I say no. I want it up here. Yeah, I want it up here versus down there. Okay. So now for the offices and then the teacher's room. And then help me. Okay, whatever it is, what it is. Alright, uh... 
trying to think. How do I want to do this? I can do... I can make her make that part of the hallway. This should be part of the hallway. I can have that be... Now I don't necessarily need to have a wall there, but I want it there for structural reasons because, I mean, you know, reasons. So as part of the hallway, I can have this be part of the, so okay, instead of, okay, instead of storage, I can have it be Yeah, this can be the teacher's room, and this is the teacher's storage for the classrooms. Up here can be so I want an entrance here. Nope, not there. Entrance there for the teacher's room. And her storage is there. Or their storage. She's gonna be two teachers. So. The hallway was honestly, you know what? Yeah, I'll, just, I'll remove that because I have this here now. So that's the hallway. Yeah, that works. Okay, then up here, the final two rooms, and we're done with the blueprinting. Then I can get to decorating at another time because my mouse arm is starting to be a butthole. It's getting harder for me to do things, so yay. And how long have I been recording for? Yeah, that explains it. <laughs> That explains it. Honestly, I've, I've made record time on this one, surprisingly. <clears throat> With all the ranging and revving I've done. Because the apartment one took me four hours to do. Just for the bottom half and it looked like crap. <laughs> so, yeah, I am honestly surprised 
I'm going to go ahead and do this so I cannot undo anything else. So now I need a hallway leading up to the final two rooms, which will be up here. But how do I want them to look or be laid out is the question. Let's see here. Trying to think. I could just do this, honestly. Have one be a bit bigger than the other. Uh. <sighs> That's really the only option I see is doing that. <clears throat> or I can expand the hallway. Yeah, I can expand the hallway. Like so, and I can split those two rooms in the middle, and then they can have their own entrance. And then this can be part of the hallway as well. And actually, I like that idea. Yeah. Yeah, I like it. There we go. So the blueprinting is done. I might add more stuff over here, you know, blueprint wise, or I might just leave it open, who knows. But it is for now done from what I can think of, who knows. I'm gonna get some food. I'm hungry. I'm not eating yet today. And yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this longer video than I normally do. I love how you can now tell how long you've been recording in the new NVIDIA update. I really do. And I do love this stuff too in the new update as well. The new app. It is, it's, it's wonderful. If you don't have the new app yet for NVIDIA, I recommend it. It made Fallout 4 look gorgeous. Holy crap. But yeah, anyways, this has been a fun ride designing a church. It may not be done yet, but we'll go from here. And yeah, if you enjoyed the video, you know what to do. Have a good day.